please welcome the next chef de mission of our national Olympic team, Marnie, Marnie McBean. McBean. Thank you. Going to Tokyo is going to be my 10th Olympic Games, and I got to tell you, wearing the maple leaf beside the Olympic logo is always magical. What a moment that was on stage in Ottawa for Canada Day and how fitting that the uh, COC, the Canadian Olympic Committee, chose Canada Day to make that announcement that Marnie McBean is going to be the next chef de mission for the Tokyo 2020 Games. And guess who's in with me in studio this morning? Hello. Hello, bonjour. Uh, rower, Olympian, gold medalist, author, motivator, mother, chef. That's chef. a nice one I'm to add like to the, the list. Chef. I'm not the yeah. sushi chef. <laughs> no. The sports chef. No. Head of, head of delegation. Congratulations. Oh, thanks very much. How do you feel? Oh, yeah, awesome. Heather, I've been waiting so long for this. Um, I feel like I've been prepping for it since... I don't, I don't think an athlete preps for it, but since 2006, I've been working with so many of our Olympic athletes, winter and summer. Um, I'm so psyched to have my fingerprints on this and to follow in the steps of other great chefs. Which I want to talk about, but you know what I like about you? I've waited for this for a long time. You make no bones about your ambition and your confidence, what you want and going after that. After. And I'm betting that's what you want to do for your team as well or have your team do. Oh, absolutely. I, I think one of the things, like, why, why pick an Olympic champion or why pick, you know, what athletes today will see is an old lady. Why, why pick somebody like me to lead the team? Mm -hmm. And I think it's because I want to work with them on on that, on being okay with their confidence. You know, being our authentic selves includes a lot of things, but it includes our authentic emotions, our authentic confidence, um, our authentic fear and doubt. Well, that's a big part of it. A lot of people think the presence of fear and doubt mean you're on the wrong path, it's not for you, you're not the champion. Um, I don't know a race that I won or a thing that I have achieved where I wasn't completely convinced um, I was not capable of doing it or in the middle of it that I wanted to quit. So I want to really get the message out that fear and doubt are part of a champion's path huh. and we embrace it. We embrace our confidence. We articulate. We're confident enough to articulate what our goals are and then we just do our best and try to accomplish them. That's fantastic. Uh, spoken as someone who live that but also as you said uh, on that stage this will be olympics number 10 there's not a game oh, summer right. or winter that you haven't been to in recent years you get to bring that all together you know who gets to do that 10 <laughs> olympics i'm like <laughs> you and ian miller right. pretty much yeah yeah and leslie thompson willie <laughs> oh that's are, right are that's right come oh, on don't, okay don't sorry sorry other. sorry ian road leslie road same thing yeah yeah but that is quite a thing and what do you think i mean basically apart from that such a critical piece about the motivation and the inspiration and, and the path. Uh, what's the job description for you? <laughs> yeah, everyone, like it is chef, you know, and, yeah. and it, people in sport know chef is head of delegation of an Olympic team. So I'm officially the head of delegation as Canada walks into the opening ceremony. Uh, I'll be right there with our team, which is looking like it might be one of our largest Olympic teams um, in decades. Woo, go Canada. Um, but it's part mentor, part mascot, um, being behind the scenes, knowing when somebody needs space, knowing when somebody needs um, somebody present. It's, uh, I think all the work will be done before we get to the Olympics. So at the Olympics, that's where I really feel like at games, it's mentor mascot. Some people need some You'll be other. at every event practically. Right? I'm gonna and then I kind of think goes with the Muppet <laughs> kind of category. But um, I think it's all the messaging that happens yeah. between now, the constant messaging of belief, the constant mes messaging of really normalizing the path. Like the Olympic dream is a funny one. Some athletes dream of going to the Olympics since before they started their sport. And so I know athletes who've been world champions who are on approach to the Olympics and are still like, well, is this for me? Because Olympic champions are like, whoa. Um, and the more we can normalize that path and normalize the idea that it's, it's normal people like us who are doing incredible and special things mm -hmm. on the Olympic stage, on every stage, um, that's the, the messaging that between now, it's, it's 387 days, I yes, think. Yes, and some extra hours. And a few extra hours, yes. yes. But then I think it's a, it's a bit of a sham to talk about when the opening ceremony, so, ceremony is. Uh, the more important date should always be the closing ceremony because uh, potential is just a thing um, and it's we want to know what we've actually done. So it's I count down to the closing ceremony 
uh, because that's when you know you've great. completed your task. You know, you're, I mean, listen to you talking. You are. I mean, you've spent years as, as, as a I motivator. Really have. You have, and you can see it, and I'm hearing it all come together as you, uh, you know, already start to think about what you're going to do for and with the team. As you look at your years, both as competitor, but also being there, involved in various capacities yeah. with the COC, who are you going to be drawing from? Who are you going to be channeling uh, in terms of learning from as you try to do the job as, as well as you can? Well, I'll go to the, the last, like, like almost like a work back of chefs, you know, Isabelle Charest, uh, Kurt Harnett, Mark Tewksbury, uh, Sylvie Bernier. Like, my first chef was Ken Reed. I've had so many incredible chefs um, who brought their own personality to the role. So I'll bring my own, um, you know, the, the Canadian Olympic Committee. They're incredible. Like, I ha as an athlete, like a million years ago, um, quite honestly, they, they weren't there for me all the time. And they've changed. They've changed to be a performance partner. Um, and their uh, performance partner for me and the incredible mission team. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm volunteering for this role. And there's a huge mission staff of other volunteers who come in, all the um, professionals, all the high performance directors, the people who really know their sport. So at no point in time will I or anyone go in and tell a sport how to do their sport, how to be on their field of play. They are professionals and they are the experts in that. Um, but I'm going to draw from everyone, um, anyone who can give me anything. Like it's always about listening and incorporating that and uh, making the next games the next games like because whatever happened like the nine games I've been to are nothing not good, not you know, gonna be Tokyo like this one. is gonna be its own games. okay so in 387 days plus some few hours even though you're not counting down to that opening ceremony what do you think you've marched in as athlete you've marched in as flag bearer in a closing ceremony in 1996 yeah. you'll be walking in, leading the Canadian team. Imagine that experience for me. Oh, I, I, I think I, I already can. I, I remember walking in with our team into the Vancouver Olympics, and there I was the last person. Canada was the last country to enter the, the, as host nation. We were last, and I was last. And I walked in, and I remember from Clara carrying the flag on back to me, the last, watching the swagger of Team Canada walk in, uh, feeling ready. And that would be my dream, is to be with uh, our team, Canada's team, and to walk into that opening ceremony. I'm, I, I can feel it. I can feel the emotion. I'm like <laughs> getting it. Um, and for them to feel that they are ready, for them to know that they are ready, yeah. And then you're going to do everything you can to make sure that's what they co concentrate on yeah, during the days energy. of the game. Exactly. Congrats. Thanks it's so much, It's so great Heather, to have you, you in, and we'll look forward to these next uh, more than a year and then seeing you over there. Absolutely. The new chef de mission for Canada's team at the Olympics, Tokyo 2020, Marnie McBean. Nice to see you. We'll talk again. Oh, thanks, Heather. Okay.